Do not go gentle into that good night. Old age should burn and rave at close of day. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. I'm not gonna make it. Yes, you are. The film for me says, you know, mankind's gotta be, mankind's expectations have to be more than just about ourselves. And it was a hell of a lot of fun to shoot. You know, we got to go to Iceland. We shot in a beautiful place in Calgary. The sets working with Chris are huge. It's fun. The toys are better than Disneyland. I can imagine that. Yeah. It must be every man's dream. It was great, yeah. It's great to have the kids on the set to see the things. And obviously the physical challenge aside, was the emotional side of it quite tough? Because you were really having a good old cry quite a few times. Oh yeah. With good reason. Yeah. Um, you know, those seem... The, 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 those aren't hard when they work. Because those are about, the emotional side's about really just relaxing on a day. And that can be a hard thing to do, you know, when we make it hard. Um, but uh, the physical side, I've done things that I think are probably more physical overall. I mean, but uh, yeah, you're, when, you, when we're scaling a glacier in Iceland and the winds pick up to 50 miles an hour, and, 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 and concrete's being kind of ripped off of some of the roads. That physically can be a little, a little spooky. When you've got to get down the mountain and the helicopters can't fly in the wind. Yeah, there, there's some, there's some, some uh, we were in some very cool places that naturally were, were pretty gnarly. Um, but overall, fun and worked out. I love Iceland, by the way, it's brilliant. It's beautiful. Oh, I love it. Yeah, it's an epic place. Were there any points you were actually a bit scared? Well, that, that, that day, I just told you about, I sure as hell was. We had to lay on the ground, and there were places you could fall that it would not be, you get rescued, it would be goodbye. <laughs> um, so that day was, that was quite hairy. Um, other than that, not overly. I mean, it was, it, it's a buzz when you're hanging 80 feet off the ground by wires. That's for sure. So that's scary at the beginning, and then you kind of get used to it. But still, you know, when you're up there, you learn not to, you learn to quit looking down. Because when you look down, it gets, it gets real scary. You see concrete 80 feet below you. And you're just like, I remember going in every morning because you talk to the stunt guys who have your wires. I would go in every morning and talk to them, look them in the eye, say, how you doing? You getting along with your wife? You feel good today? You focused? Because they they're holding me, you know? So I wanted to make sure nobody was kind of had a lazy eye or had a big night, you know? Let your hungover get out. Yeah, you, no. you I don't want you holding my rope, yeah. And obviously, as an actor, you're expected to be a jack of all trades, but when you get a script like this, you're not like, oh, astrophysics. I, you know, I had to go, trust me, I didn't understand it completely when I first read it. And I had to go spend time with Kip Thorne. I had to really, you know, pick Chris's mind about the logistics and the plausibility. And, uh, you know, what we do in the picture is plausible. But if you get, if you get going, don't, don't get hung up on the the science or the astrophysics of it when you're watching it. Go for, go for the ride. I had to give up, was yeah. like, I'll just accept this. Just take the ride, yeah. And very quickly, before I go, what's your favorite line from the film? Oh. Probably that, 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 that byline, mankind was born on the earth, we weren't not supposed to die here. I dig that. We'll find a way. We always have.